We are excited to kick things off with this morning's announcements. Today, we're going to make some of our biggest announcements ever at WWDC. Our next release, iOS 17, delivers more expressive communication, simplified sharing, more intelligent input, and all new experiences for your iPhone. Let's begin with some major updates to three apps, phone, FaceTime, and messages. We're giving you a brand new way to express yourself with personalized contact posters. Contact posters feature beautiful treatments for both photos and memoji paired with eye-catching typography. And in Chinese and Japanese, the new layout with vertical text looks incredible. It's also part of your contact card, so you'll have a consistent look across the places where you communicate and share. Customizing your poster works a lot like personalizing your lock screen. The possibilities are endless. And for developers, this all works with CallKit. So posters will appear for calls placed via third-party VoIP apps too. Live voicemail. When someone calls you and leaves a message, you'll see a live transcription in real time as they speak. You'll see the voicemail right on your screen, so you can decide whether to step out and take the call. There's another type of call getting a big update, FaceTime. Now, when you call someone on FaceTime and they aren't available, you'll be able to leave a message. You can record a message so that they can enjoy it later. Messages is the way we stay connected with the people who matter most. To start, let's quickly cover some key improvements that make using messages even faster and more convenient. Search is more powerful and precise with the addition of search filters. So now you can start a search and then add additional terms to narrow the results to find exactly what you're looking for. A new catch-up arrow in the top right of your conversation lets you jump to the first message you haven't seen. We've also made replying inline faster than ever. Just swipe to reply on any bubble. When you get an audio message but you aren't able to listen right away, they're now transcribed so you can read them in the moment and listen later. Location sharing now lets you keep track of your friend's location directly in the conversation. Check-in. You can start check-in with a family member or friend to let them know when you get home safely. As soon as you arrive, check-in automatically detects that you're home and lets your friend know. And if you don't respond, it can automatically share useful information such as your current location and the route you took, and they'll also be able to see your battery level and cell service status so they know if you might be able to take their call. We also have an updated design for how you get to all your iMessage apps. With just a tap of this new plus button, you'll see all the things you send the most, like your photos, audio messages, and location. And when you swipe up, you'll see all your iMessage apps there too. Last year, we introduced the ability to lift a subject from the background of your photos, and now those subjects can be turned into stickers. When I tap on the Live Photos tab, I see all of the live photos that will make great animated stickers. Peel and stick like this. AirDrop. We're expanding how you can use AirDrop to share in all new ways. NameDrop. With NameDrop, you can just bring your phones close together. You'll see the same contact poster we talked about for phone calls, and you can easily choose the phone numbers and email addresses you want to share along with it and share them just like that. You can use NameDrop with an iPhone and an Apple Watch too. When you want to share the stunning photos you took on your latest adventure, again, just bring your phones close together. You can now leave AirDrop range and your content will continue to send securely in full quality over the internet. You can also bring your devices together to instantly kick off a shared activity using SharePlay. Standby. Just by turning iPhone on its side while charging, you get a new full screen experience with glanceable information designed to be viewed at a distance. Swipe up to choose from a range of beautiful clock styles. Swipe to the side and you can look back on your favorite moments in photos. With a quick swipe on each widget stack, you can see the current weather, home controls, or your favorite third-party widgets. At night, when you're charging iPhone, standby adapts to low light. And that's iOS 17. Oh,